Today we'll be starting a new series on the channel where we not only complete all the quests in the game, we complete all of the objectives in the quest book. In this episode we are going to be tackling the loot runs, but let's head over to the Corcus Traversal as it is called. What do I do? Oh, what is this? And okay, we're here. Now what do we do? Spelunk loot all the chests in this cave. Okay. There we go. What does that do? Okay. Oh, there's a flying chest. That's what's going to give me. Cool. Oh, no, this one sucks. I remember this one. I actually do not. Can you chill? Oh, my gosh. Because you have to, like, know the caves really well to understand how to do these even remotely quickly. Sure. Let's go again. Start with purple this time. Okay. Slay the target. I can do that. What's the target? Oh, they're waves. Cool. That was pretty easy. This guy's all fancy and glowing, but he's still gonna die. Nice. Oh, cool. That's the whole thing. My inventory is filling up way too fast. Let's get rid of the common items. Timer is stopped while I'm in the chest. That's nice. Okay. So. I don't need a dagger. Um, I don't need that. All right, let's go. Um, let's do the blue one, I suppose. That's, that's the harder one. We gotta finish it at some point, so. Let's go blue, then yellow. If that's the order we are allowed to do it, then. Okay. Over at blue. Slay the target, cool. Oh, okay. It says new. Midas touch for the rest of the loot run. Gain two, 12 intelligence or 12% critical damage. Okay. For me, I really based off of intelligence for I think, air damage and then just like spells. So we will take intelligence. That's cool how that does that. And then we get a chest to open. Let's go in there. Alright, now we got to yellow or blue, yellow or blue. Where are either of those? They're both in this direction, so let's head over and then just whichever one's, I guess, closer we'll pick. This one seems closer, so let's go to this one. I'm thinking this is also underground because I don't see anything up here to do. So let's go down, I guess. Hopefully this is correct, otherwise I'm just stuck. Okay, good, it's down here. What do I do? Spelunk. What was this cave? Oh, this is open. Okay, oh, hello. Okay. Oh, we just get all of the chests. Cool. Um, I'll take all the powders and stuff. Don't need the boots. Take the health potion. Powders again. Powders. Gems always. And then the last chest. Um, what did I just do? Did I just break it? Yep. Whoops. Okay. Another boon. Plus 60 strength. That would be good, but like... I don't use strength as an effect. 
for every four items offered from a chest. That seems good. Okay. Purple or blue beacon. Oh, we gotta go all the way back up. The purple's just like right here. Are you serious? No, I just, I just did purple. I definitely just did purple. Let's head up. We're doing a lot better on time for this one. Okay, purple's right here. Slay all the mobs. What mobs? Oh, cool. Oh, what is this? Okay. Um, there's stasis, stas stasis, high roller, and materialism. Add nine minutes to your time limit. All challenges now additionally have the yellow beacon effect. Yellow beacons cannot appear anymore. Okay, so the yellow beacon effect was the flying chest, which was good. The high roller, get two boons and one curse. Gain plus two in reward and reward rerolls. I still don't know what an in reward is because I haven't successfully completed the loot run yet. And then we have stasis, get two curses. I do need all the time I can get on that one specific cave where I just did not get it in time. And I have like 10 minutes right now, roughly, of time left. So do I want the 10 minutes of time now? I'm gonna go with this one, materialism. Let's open the chest to see what we get. Okay. 14 minutes now. And I have six challenges left. Okay. Mission started materialism. Okay. Ow? Who? What in. Okay. I know where to go now, at least, has that. But, like, what is. What? How, who is doing this to me? And where? Like, stop. Um, but let's head over to the yellow beacon. Is it just over here? Cool. What do we do? Defend, defend for... Okay. Defend from just... Oh my gosh. How many of them are there? Jeez. Oh, I did it. Okay, cool. That's that. I'm not taking the common effect. What's in here, though? We got some more powders and then currency. Cool. Um, yellow beacon or purple beacon? Just a yellow. And I prefer yellow. It's just nicer. I don't know. Gets more instant rewards versus the end goal. Which I still have to get five more, five more um, uh, challenges, I guess, to even get to the end rewards. Is it further or is it just right here? Okay. More emeralds, a legendary thing, set, bracelet, and then I'll take this and then the powders. Get rid of some of these rare lower level ones. And then the bonus chest in the air. Nice. Okay. Take that and then head over to whichever beacon is closest. Purple or blue. Blue might be closer. Seems to be lagging a bit more, but no purple. There, I gotta choose early. Okay, let's go purple. Oh, it's right here. Nice. Let's belong to the cave. Oh, it's this one. Okay, we've already done this one, so it shouldn't be too bad. I would, I would know how to do it correctly, at least. Need to kill two out of six of whatever is done.
three more. Nice. Being a lot faster at this one. And now we can drop down. Challenge complete. Yellow beacon or purple beacon? Better for like the rolling and rewards thing, but yellow is just such a nicer challenge, it seems like. A lot less stress with them. We only need three more. We have 14 minutes of tide before it's out. But it refreshes every time we do a new challenge, so that's nice. Please, okay, it's right here. What do we have to do? Slay mobs, okay, that's the easy one. What? Connection lost, why? What the heck? Why? Okay, it picked up right off top, that's good at least. That was... Even it, these guys are still following me, which is really annoying, bro. Please die. There we go. That was really close. Um, bunch of effects. Don't need a mana potion. Let's get the extra rewards. Running out of space really quickly, though. The last one. Okay. Um, what do I not need? I have a one bot of inventory space. Let's get rid of the tier ones. And cool. Alright. Blue or purple? They're both somewhat. No, they are opposite directions. Okay. Let's get out of this cave first. Alright. No, that's a different beacon. That is an entirely different beacon. Okay. They are both this way. I wonder if this is the purpose of like horses. Because like horses can go fast. Like I think max level horses can go faster than I can run. But like it is still so far. So much ground to cover. Is this the bad one? It's, okay, no, this is not the bad one. What am I supposed to oh no I do I do know this one, okay. I have to hug the edges of this one to get everything though, because it is very spread out. There are three chests in this cave. Here's the first one. As long as I save the like the left wall and just go all the way around, I should be able to get all the chests relatively quickly. How are you still alive? There we go. I said, I said left wall, so that's this way. Let's just keep going. No. You've got to be kidding me. What does that do? What does that mean? Okay, timer's still going. Okay, holy cow. Okay, so you don't die if you don't you don't fail if you die. You just lose time. Oh, and you don't get to do all 10 challenges, too. That sucks. I wasn't looking at my health there. That's annoying. Alright, let's go blue. Please just be right here. Nice. What are we doing here? Slay mobs. Okay, so I failed to the point where 8 of 8 is completion. That's sad, but we got to rookie tier 3. My inventory is ridiculously full. Let's drop some of the rare, I guess. Rare is usually not that, not that important. Get rid of those and open. 16 rewards to pull. 
How does this work? Oh, cinematics. All the cinematics. Whoa. Fabled? I get a fabled thing? Oh, I get a fabled item. Okay. I will take that. I get all of this thing? Is that how that works? I mean, I'm not going to use any of those. This seems important. Um, take the weapons. I have space for them at least. I do not need this this one anymore. I've already completed that dungeon. Um, let's get this. Take the liquid emerald. Um, I don't know. Slow this, I guess. And then I have one more spot. I almost missed out on a fatal item. Let's get that for sure. And then I don't have space for anything else. So close. All right. It's our very first loot run. We completed it successfully somewhat. Being that we died twice, so we only needed to do eight instead of ten. But my initial plan was to compile all the loot runs into one video, but this has already taken around 50 minutes of time. So I'm going to edit this down, figure out how I want to put this out. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that we can get through Windcraft without too much frustration. This was the first loot run, so we only need to do three more, I'm guessing, if that's how it works. And I don't need to level up to like Grand Master, whatever it is, and loot runs. I'm just going to completion. So, three more of these, and we'll be done with loot runs. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next episode. Peace.